Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to discuss about family and us also being healthy. Sometimes one might think it's selfish to pour into your own cup or have your own fitness, physical, mental or spiritual goals and it's not because actually it's a propelling cycle and impact effect that has that crosses over all of your circulating environment and people especially your family so it's not selfish for you to have a fitness goal it's not selfish for you to have a time away where you need an hour maybe to journal um, and this could be whether you're in your 20s whether you're in your 30s 40s whatever it is 50s 60s it's not selfish to have a goal for healthy habits uh, because I'm going to go through five ways your health affects your family in this video and this can be your family your your husband your wife your children your partner it can be your brother your sister whoever you're living with blood family or family you regard as your soul tribe whatever it is people that you actually live with or you have a presence every day with in their lives so when you especially have loved ones that depend on you fitness and your physical well-being and mental well-being is really a moral obligation and that is via looking after yourself so can you see how this is not selfish i'm going to go into sort of five thoughts on how your health can affect people around you especially if you've got kids all right um, and this is good for anyone because it gives you that awareness I was reading the other day that in the US there are 340 million kids overweight and that is quite a scary statistic I didn't dive in deeper because obviously I you, you know over what there's there's a metrics of BMI where you're in normal you're overweight you're obese etc <coughs> so it should sit within overweight to obese all right the research shows that children emulate parents which is why parents really do need to model a healthy lifestyle expose their child to the gym early um expose the child to activities on the weekends during the days outside when you can i have a video which um, i put up a few months ago and it's not got many views at all about youth and exercise and i need to link it in this video do check it out if you've got children because there's something about there's something about um exposing children to the gym early but not a child child yeah you can it's not about taking them to do strength training you need to just start letting them know what a gym is start letting them know what activity is well, my preference is to do something that is mentioned in that youth training and i actually go through a bit of a program um, because I think you need to balance it out and not get too uh, caught up in they need to look a certain way or they need to follow your footsteps. So I will link that. I'll 100% link it, but just in case, it's called Youth and Exercise, something like that. It's the only video, and I believe it's probably got a yellow thumbnail. It's probably about four or five months ago. It's near the beginning of when I started the channel. So expose the child to exercise activities, expose the child to um, environments where there are physical exercises. Skills imprinted in childhood actually persist into adulthood. Now, I can say, though, as somebody who was overweight in my teens, uh, early years, 
not so much but then as i started to get into my teens yes um it can be daunting to have pe lessons and this can be if even if you're having pe lessons and you're having you're in your gcses or whatever the international curriculum is so if you're a parent and you start to expose them to activities in those environments it eases them as they get older Having said that, I was exposed to whatever I wanted to do and I did ballet and I also wanted to do karate but by the time I got to karate, I started gaining the weight and I started to get really insecure. Um, let your child see you exercise. Let them watch you sweat and struggle. Let them witness true strength which is going to help you lead by example and you know what that's going to do? It's not only going to take the effect of physical well-being, mental well-being, but also getting through life. All right. So you're teaching them more than one thing there. Um, your first priority must be to build and maintain a strong and resilient, well-balanced body. We're not talking about getting your body fat percentage to a certain percentage or having a physique or competing because that is also going to take away from your balance if that's the phase you're in excellent but like it's not necessarily the phase you need to expose the child to i'm talking about general everyday life in order to take care of others you really do need to fill your cup up take care of yourself so if we take it away from fitness, it could be that in the morning you do a 10 minute meditation and the ch children or even this could be anyone who's not been exposed to a healthy family dynamic or environment sees that, adopts that, is like how can that person sit there for 10 minutes, what are they going through? Like you, you often hear I cannot sit there for 10 minutes, like my mind is all in you know 92 clouds and tabs are open and as soon as i try to focus on my breath i like so and then as i inhale i think i'm getting there but then another tab opens and you know what you say me too but i sit there most days i try to sit there and then that kind of like okay i'm gonna try so in you know, take care of yourself. It's not selfish, it's necessary because that helps you balance out, lead by example and pour back into others because you will be balancing your mental health, physical health and soul, spiritual health and emotional health. Being shredded requires extreme diets and workouts. Nothing wrong with it, but there's a cost to that. And that's why I brought it up. Some people are willing to pay it and some aren't. Some people maybe get to a stage in life where they're like, I'm not willing to pay anymore. I've done it, but I'm not anymore. And they might be like, because it takes so much from my life. Like I'm not single anymore. I can't just go do fasted cardio, come back, and then I'm so lethargic because I'm on a calorie deficit. When I say I'm not single no more and I've got a family or whatever, I'm giving an example. It's not necessary in my family, my life. You come back, you're so lethargic, you go on a calorie deficit, you need to meal prep or you've meal prepped, you eat something, you might take a nap, you've got to go to do strength training. What about your family? What about family time? What about taking your kids out? So it depends where you are in life. And also, your kids don't really care if you're shredded or not um but family matters more more to you and family matters more than how you appear on instagram with a picture i mentioned this in a video that sometimes we don't have gratitude for our physical well-being of being able to get up in the morning and just go to even the toilet go make our breakfast, our coffee, until we have an injury. And stop treating your body like you can trade it in when it breaks. We need to appreciate our bodies and show that appreciation of our bodies, what we tap into for our mental health, our emotional health, 
and what it takes, the habits it takes to those people around us, especially the children, so they adopt it from a young age and then they have the skills and the basic foundations that help them thrive a bit more in life as they go on their journey. And building habits earlier is a lot easier to sustain than changing the habits when we get older because we know how hard it is. Going back to consistency of a video I recently did about what it takes to succeed, which is just do the work. And one of the elements was consistency. So if you enjoyed this, do share it with other parents, share it with whoever you think is going to be helpful. Some of you might decide to share it with your parents <laughs> if you're watching this, but share it with people, share it with your parents if you want to. Share it with someone who's going to benefit. Um, share it with people who have kids, sorry. Um, that is the main thing. And it's not selfish to tap into what you need to balance you out because honestly, people will then receive the best version of you. And that is the most beautiful thing. So I look forward to your likes, your comments. Please just subscribe to get all the content and let me know if there's a particular subject you want me to cover. And I'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.